team. <gasps> Trendy coats, bed rolls, saddlebags. Oh, who would surprise vacation just for the two of us? How thoughtful. I hear Puerto Caballo is lovely this time of year. Sand like powdered sugar. Um, Princess Celestia has taken us on an overnight goodwill tour of Yakistan. I just found out. <gasps> So, what you're saying is, no tea? Oh, well, <clears throat> that's fine. I wasn't thirsty anyway. If you're looking for something to do, you could spend the evening with Spike and Big Mac. <laughs> you aren't kidding. They're very nice. They have a top secret thing they do whenever we leave Ponyville. Although, every pony knows about it, so it's not a very good secret. I think you'd have fun with them. Fun? With sidekicks? Oh, you must think that we're in a dimension where everything is opposite. da -de la I'm opposite Discord, and I want to hang out with Spike and Big Mac. I'm sure I'd have fun. Well, guess what, Santa Press? I'm opposite Fluttershy, and I'm sick of being nice and quiet all the time! Let me explain it to you as simply as I can. Me amazing. Them? Well, I've already forgotten who we're talking about. You see? All I'm saying is, it's an opportunity to expand your circle of friends. Unless you're afraid they won't like you. Oh, please. Don't stoop to tedious reverse psychology. You're better than that. It never hurts to make new friends. <laughs> Consider it considered. <laughs> <gasps> Couldn't I just come with you instead? My little pony, my little pony. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you're all my very best friends? I suppose this is goodbye then. Have an absolutely fabulous voyage. Discord. Well, it's not my fault the new train route leads into an active volcano. Guess you'll have to stay. Oh, you're no fun. I got my bedroll, parka, unattractive but functional hiking boots. Uh, anything I forgot, Pinkie Pie? You're our resident Yak Yakistan expert. Nope! I brought Yeti food! Did I forget to mention there's a pony eating Yeti on Frostfield Glacier? We're gonna have so much fun! <laughs> if he messes with us, I'll turn that Yeti into confetti! <laughs> Some pony's in an awful quick hurry to get us out of here. Don't y'all have too much fun without us. I bet you boys have big plans, right, Spike? I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Although if I did, I certainly wouldn't be allowed to discuss it with you girls. Bye-bye! Fascinating article, yes. <laughs> don't let him come over. Please don't let him come over. Please don't let him come over. Please, please, please. Oh, salutations, my friend. Wish I could stay in chat, but I don't want to. Wait. Um, we were wondering, what are you up to tonight? <gasps> Here we go. Do you wanna, I don't know, hang out? Is that like something you do? 
Oh, Twilight's friend and Applejack's monosyllabic brother. If only I weren't super busy this evening. I guess guys' night will just be you and me. A guys' night? You mean a rowdy evening of reckless revelry? Zoot suits, fedoras, swing dancing? Uh, something like that. You should totally come. The three of us would be way better than two. <laughs> That does sound fun, actually. Too bad you're busy. Well, I suppose I could squeeze you in if I move a few very important ponies around. June, honey, be a dear, reschedule Luna and KK. That's what I call Princess Celestia, what a hoot. In fact, clear the whole evening. Tonight is guys' night. These fellas invited me to spice things up and bring a little class to the whole affair. Tonight will be the best night of your lives, and not just because you get to bask in my greatness. I do love basking in things. See you tonight. Twilight's Castle. The fun starts probably at sundown. Technically, the fun starts when I arrive, but I'll make sure it's around sunset. Adieu, fellas. And we have sundown. Repeat, we have sundown. I declare tonight's Guys' Night Ceremonies officially open! Yep. It's Guys' Night. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yep. Having fun now. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What the hey? Announcing the much-anticipated arrival of the spirit of chaos and disharmony, the purveyor of pandemonium, lord of lawlessness, earl of turmoil, bringer of bedlam, dun da da dun da 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 discord! Shall we hop to it? I made a list of the rowdiest establishments in Ponyville. It's rather short. Actually, we're staying here. I hope you like awesome games. Games? I love games. I'm great at games. Famous pony charades? Oh, this is an easy one. Who am I? Huh? Huh? Oh, come on! Uh, I'm talking about a real game. Oh, you mean like trapping best friend ponies in hedge mazes and turning them against each other? Those were the days. Not exactly. Wait here. Whatever it is, it can only get better by adding me to the mix. Okay! In a world where evil reigns supreme, a small band of warriors stands tall against the darkness. This is Ogres and Oubliettes. <laughs> oh, this looks like... The best game ever? You're right! Uh, yes. Ogres and Oubliettes is a fantasy role-playing adventure game. Our goal? Defeat the evil squid wizard, or as we call him, <laughs> the squizzard. <laughs> <clears throat> the squizzard has laid siege to the last free city in Spytopia. That's the name of the land. He's kidnapped a beautiful unicorn princess named Shmerity. Uh, which is like a normal name in Spytopia, so, you know, don't think about it too much. Fear not. Your romantic delusions are safe with me. First things first. You gotta create a character. Name? How about Discord? The whole point of the game is you get to use your imagination and be someone you're not. I'm Garbuncle, a famous magician. Everyone treats me with the utmost respect. Just like in real life? Yeah, don't get jealous, but I'm a level 30 enchanter with major skill points assigned to intellect and perception. Go on, I'm listening. Big Mac's character is Sir McBiggin, a level 27 Black Knight Unicorn from Castle Chadwick. I'm listening. 
When his king allied himself with the Squizzard, Sir McBiggin would not besmirch his honor. Nope. <clears throat> I'm listening. And so it came to pass. The magician and Black Knight vowed to rid Spytopia of the evil Squizzard. So, your character's name? I already have the best name in the universe. Why would I change it for something like Captain Woods? Captain Woods it is. <sighs> what class are you, Captain Woods? There's archers, mages, rogues. Can I suggest we take a break and, I don't know, go out and have some fun? Ponyville's not going to paint itself red. You'll love it once we get started. How about an orchard? Sounds just as miserable as the other options. So fine. Sir McBiggin, are you prepared to enter the world of ogres and oubliettes? Yup. Discord. Or should I say, Captain what? Are you? Oh, get on with it. We find ourselves trapped in the dungeon of the evil squizzard. The bars are locked tight. The bars exist in our imagination. Really? You describe things and then we pretend it's real. It is real in our imagination. It's your turn first. What do you want to do? Curse myself for attending this infernal evening? Oh, oh, no, no, you mean in the game. Well, you can do whatever you want. Then I roll this 20-sided die to see if you're successful. I stick my head through the bars and demand for the immediate release of the Lord of Chaos. That's a big risk. You have to roll a 17 or higher to succeed. Oh, bad idea. The guard gets mad. This spell here, I transform him into a parsnip. You need 11 intelligent points to cast a transform into root vegetable spell. I'm not intelligent. I cast it anyway because this game is stupid. The spell backfires. So your claws grow leaves and transform into parsnips. <clears throat> <laughs> Parsnips. <laughs> the guard laughs. He calls his friends over, and they laugh too. <laughs> Don't you laugh at me, big man. Does it really say that? Let me see. <laughs> As you get angrier, every pony laughs harder. <laughs> I seal Sir McBiggin in a magic bubble until he stops laughing. <laughs> I told you, you can't do magic. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. <laughs> Not intelligent enough, please. Cut it out, Discord. Oh, this game is insufferable. Let me show you a real guy's night. Oh. <laughs> this is the life. Jazz, dancing, the best table magic can buy. This is what Guys Night is all about. Am I right, fellas? <clears throat> yep. I know you probably didn't do this on purpose, but this table's the perfect size and shape. I don't think so. Let's have a drink. Chocolate milkshake? No, you want to go back to Ogres and... Oh, how about a different game? Those are very bad cards. Stop messing with us. We want to... A dance contest? Surprise! We won! Discord? Yes. Look, we don't want to do these things. We want to play our game. If you don't want to play with us, you can, I don't know, sit and watch. Sit and watch. Fine. We'll play your game. Are you ready to enter the world of ogres and oblivious? <laughs> Sir McVigan? <clears throat> yeah. And I'm Garbuncle? That means sweetness! We're in the game! Check it out! Good kill!
Yep. Oh, yeah. Yep. In the game, though. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Discord, where are you? This is great. You made the game real. <laughs> Aren't games fun? Should we be worried he's using his scary voice? Behold! I am the Squizzard! <laughs> oh, you're welcome. Attack! You find yourself on a battlefield. A barrage of arrows rains down on you. If you roll a 15 or higher, the shield protects you. 14 or lower, and well, <laughs> you get the idea. 17, lucky you. <laughs> Sir McBiggin, I'd cover the entrance if I were you. This isn't funny! Isn't this what every gamer wants? To live the game? Like this? Kind of you to notice, it's the little details that really bring alternate dimensions to life, wouldn't you say? Discord, this is awful. <laughs> of course it is. Spike Topia will be mine, and Rarity shall be my bride. I mean, Schmerity. <laughs> ah, why are you doing this? You're the worst. If I'm the worst, then why did you invite me? Because we felt bad for you. Because you. What? <laughs> We're okay. We're okay. No thanks to you, Discord. You felt sorry for me? Who wouldn't? Fluttershy told us you practically begged her to stay. And then at the train station, you were just standing there all alone. This can't be. I'm supposed to feel sorry for you because I'm me and you're you. We only invited you to be nice. I mean, you're kind of a weirdo. Yeah. I ruined your night and you don't even think I'm cool? Oh, how embarrassing. I should go. I have a lot of other friends I need to see tonight. Good. Yes, so many other friends. Farewell, Garbuncle the Magician. And brave Sir McBiggin, may Providence smile upon thee in thy quest to rid Spiketopia of the dreaded Squizzard. Oh, when I say it that way, the game doesn't sound half bad. Oh, well. It, it's better this way, right? Yup. Because now he can't bother us because he's off somewhere by himself, all alone. No friends. Yup. Huh. <clears throat> we find ourselves in the dungeon of the evil squizzard. The bars are locked and, ha, huh, who am I kidding? We should give him another chance. <clears throat> Captain Was, can you hear me? Oh, you realized how amazing I am and that I make you cooler just by being around me? Uh, no, 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 actually, that's not what I meant to say. I, I'm... What? I'm... We can't hear you. Nope. I'm trying to say I'm sorry, all right? I'm sorry for ruining your game, and I'm sorry that I thought I was better than you. <sighs> now let's play before this evening gets any sappier, shall we? Yep. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What if we forgot the board and the pieces for a minute? I mean, the whole game coming to life was completely terrifying, but also kind of the best thing ever. So, uh, 
Big Mac and I were wondering, what if you toned it down just a teensy bit? Just close the door and let them finish. <laughs> Whatever this is. No way! Did you see Big Mac's sword? I totally want in! <laughs> 